Welcome to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. Get ready to be inspired, uplifted, and connected to the miraculous energy of unconditional love that I call Mother Mary. If you're a highly sensitive, highly creative entrepreneur or light worker, and you want to magnify your impact and your intuition, you are in the right place. I'm your host, Reverend Francis Faden, interfaith minister, intuitive coach, and author of Meditation is Friendship with God. I can't wait to share miraculous stories, books, meditations, messages, and interviews with other miraculous light workers just like you. Are you ready to magnify your miracles? What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hello, my miraculous friend. This is Reverend Francis Faden. And before we get into today's episode, I wanted to take a moment and let you know that if you've been wanting to work with me and wanting to connect more with Mother Mary, I have an amazing opportunity for you. Mother Mary's Inner Circle, her personal message program is now open, which means that you can receive a personal message from Mother Mary every month. Not only that, you can ask a question if you're on the call or you can send me your question and I can ask for you, which means that whatever is top of mind for you, you can get Mother Mary's response and her guidance and you can be mentored by her. It is amazing. Not only that, but she is inviting an archangel or a guest to be with her every month. So you'll be getting two messages, one from Mother Mary and one from either an archangel or an ascended master. All the info is on my website at francisfaden.com forward slash inner circle. Go there and you check out the dates and all the information is there and which archangels and which masters are going to be there. But the one thing I can tell you is who knows what 2024 is going to bring. I know for me, if we are walking together with Mother Mary guiding us, it's going to be a miraculous year. I hope you can join me. We start December 15th. Hello, my miraculous friend, and welcome to another episode of the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. This is Reverend Francis Faden, and I am so grateful that we get to spend this time together helping you magnify your miracles. I have something that is going to really help you magnify your miracles today, especially if you've been feeling a little bit stuck. Whenever I feel stuck, this is one of the things that I do is I practice a novena. So I'm going to be sharing a beautiful novena with you that you can also do and practice it for nine days and get your energy moving again. But before we go into that, let's take a deep breath together. Just allow yourself to let go of whatever happened before, whatever might be happening later, and just bring your awareness back into your body into the here and now. And as you simply allow yourself to breathe and focus on your breathing, you notice that your awareness starts to expand. And you may already be feeling that divine presence manifesting as peace, as calmness, as joy. And so knowing that whatever it is that you need to hear today to help you move forward in a powerful way is exactly what you're going to hear. Let's take one more deep breath in gratitude and we can begin. All right, my friend. Well, I want to talk to you about a beautiful prayer practice that is quite ancient called a novena. And if you weren't raised with this tradition of knowing about them, let me tell you a little bit about it. I am nowhere near an expert on this, so you probably might even know a little bit more than me. And if you do, I'd love to hear your experience with it. But a novena is a prayer that you pray for nine days. And you do this and you ask for whatever it is that you are needing or whatever shift you want to see in your life or whatever result you're hoping to have. And you pray a prayer, same prayer, for nine days. And it is miraculous, in my opinion, what can shift by doing this kind of focused intention. So the first step is to set an intention and to say, okay, this is the, this is the energy I'm wanting to shift. This is what I'm asking God or the universe for help with. 
this is what I'm going to put my focus on. And then you pick prayer that is an appropriate prayer for you. And it can be a formal prayer. It can be a Hail Mary. It can be the Our Father. It can be a prayer that you found somewhere by a saint or a master. It can be a mantra. It can be whatever you want. You can also just make it your own prayer. It can just be a prayer of simply, Divine Mother, I really need help with this. Help me get to the other side of it, whatever it might be. I was thinking of a prayer this morning about um, using my time well. And this was my prayer. My prayer this morning was, Divine Mother, help me use my time well. Help me get everything done that I need to get done. And help me take excellent care of myself at the same time. Because sometimes those two things seem opposed to each other. So that's a prayer that I do for the day. Now, if you if that's an ongoing issue for you, like managing your time and taking care of yourself, then that could be a prayer that you do for nine days in a row. And you do it with the intention of healing your relationship with time or taking better care of yourself or feeling peaceful while you're juggling a busy schedule, whatever it might be for you. Um, So you can absolutely make up your own prayer and do that as well. So there's no wrong way. Now we do it for a cycle of nine days. Nine is a very spiritual number. It is a number of completion, but it's also a number of fulfillment. So this is an ancient, ancient practice that goes way back past Christianity. And uh, if you think about the number nine, of course, there's nine months that a woman carries a baby and brings that baby to fulfillment. And so the nine vibration is actually very, very powerful. And I just want you to try it. You know, what Mother Mary shared with me is it's a Trinity blessing of three times three. And it's, you think about it, it's three days for our spiritual self, three days for our mental and emotional self, and three days for our physical self. And so the way I like to think about it is it kind of takes our intention from the physical, I mean, from the um, spiritual, brings it through our mind and our emotions until it becomes uh, a physical reality for us. So honoring yourself as a body, mind, spirit being is another reason to be doing a nine-day practice. Now, when I notice that I've been praying about something and the energy is not shifting, I will often look for a novena and say, okay, I'm going to do a novena about this. And it really focuses my energy and helps me be more open and receptive. Now, I am recording this in the month of November of 2023. And I was sent a beautiful novena card by one of the members of my inner circle, Mother Mary's inner circle. And her name is Pat Castle. And she is actually going to be a guest on the podcast in a couple of weeks she has a powerful prayer practice that she is going to be sharing with us. And I'm so excited. So stay tuned for that. But she sent me this beautiful prayer card and this beautiful novena practice to celebrate the the, um, feast day of the Miraculous Medal, which is November 27th. Now, if you're hearing this um, long after, please know that you can still pray this novena. It doesn't have to coincide with these days. You can do, you can do them anytime, but sometimes when we hook up our prayers with feast days, we either do them starting on the feast day and going nine days afterwards, or we do nine days before leading us up to the feast day, or maybe you want to start it on the new moon or the full moon. There's no wrong way to do this. I mean, Mother Mary says, she always says to me, just encourage people to pray and get all the rules out of the way. Now, these are guidelines for you of things that you can do. So if you're hearing this before November 27th of 2023, feel free to join me in doing this beautiful novena practice. And if you're hearing this afterwards, please dive right in. I am going to put the um, the prayer, I'll put the words to this prayer in the show notes. And if people, people always say, I'm not sure where the show notes are. If you go to my website, francisfaden.com and you click on podcast, you should see the episode right there. If you're listening to this much later, um, there's a search bar and you can just put in the word um, novena and all the all my episodes that are related to novenas will come up. There shouldn't be that many of them, honestly. And then there it will be. And you click on that and that will have the show description there. And that's where you can find the show notes. So I'm going to read this to you. This is the prayer novena to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. And it's a beautiful prayer card that she gave me. 
And I'm going to read this first just once through. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite you to do say this with me. I'm going to invite you to recite it with me. So the first time I'll read it straight through so you can hear it and get a sense of it. And then the second time I'm going to pause so you can do this responsibly with me. You can recite it after me if you choose to do this. And it is a beautiful time of year to do a novena. So again, set your intention. What is it that you would love Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal to help you with? What is it that you could really use help with? What's the miracle that you want to pray about? Where are you feeling stuck? So you set that intention. And then decide, when are you going to do these nine days? You're going to start today. I encourage you to start whenever you hear this and you want to start. You want to wait until the 27th of November and do it then. And you'd be doing it from the 27th through December 5th if you did that. Okay. And then the next step is to just simply start. Now, I recommend that you jot it down if you don't have a little prayer journal or a little notebook. I highly recommend that you get one just to keep track of what, what's my intention? What am I praying for? Am I doing any specific prayers? Because a lot of times we start doing these prayers and things start to shift rapidly and we forget that we started the ball rolling through our novena and our prayer practice. And we say, what a coincidence. Isn't that amazing that that happened? And I really want you to get it in your bones that Yes, it's amazing. Yes, it's miraculous, but it's happening in response. It's happening because you started something happening. All right, so let me read this to you. And I want you to take it in and see if this prayer resonates with you. Now, this is a traditional prayer. Uh, It comes from the Catholic tradition, which if you're not Catholic and you want to leave out some words, you want to change some words, you go ahead and do that. Here we go. Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus and my mother, I come to you with confidence in your powerful intercession manifested through your miraculous medal. As your loving, trustful child, I ask this favor. And then you would say your favor. Obtain for me as well a pure heart that my entire life give glory to God. Amen. Is that a beautiful prayer? I love that. So, You get to ask for whatever it is that is your intention. And then you're also asking for a pure heart and that your whole life gives glory to God. I love this prayer. I'm so grateful that Pat sent it to me because I've seen some other novena prayers and they just don't resonate. So when you find one that works for you, make it your own. That's what I'm going to do. All right, my friends. So let's do this together. Take a moment. You might want to put your hand on your heart or hold your hands in prayer position and get really clear what is your intention? What are you asking Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal for? What help do you need? What miracle are you calling into your life? So just take a moment and do that. All right, and then repeat after me. Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus and my mother, I come to you with confidence in your powerful intercession manifested through your miraculous medal. As your loving, trustful child, I ask this favor. Go ahead and ask. Obtain for me as well a pure heart. that my entire life may give glory to God. Amen. 
Feel that power. And that's a prayer that you can say for nine days and watch the miracles happening. I would love to hear if you've ever had any experience with novenas. If you notice, you know, if you actually do this nine day process, please let me know. Did it help you to get unstuck? Did you notice any shifts happening? Did you notice any doors opening that were previously feeling stuck? And if you change the prayer to make it sound more like you, I would love to know that. We are in the middle of the Pray Like a Priestess program right now. And that's one of the things we're doing is taking these prayers and making them our own. So that's what I wanted to share with you, my friend. If any part of your life is feeling a little bit stuck, give yourself the gift of a novena. Let yourself walk with the divine, walk with Mother Mary for nine days and really allow yourself to receive the miracles because like I always say, your miracle is already here. A novena will help you to receive it. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm so grateful for you. If you know anybody that would benefit from this episode, please feel free to share it with them, post it on social media, share it with your friends, whatever works. I so appreciate when you share the light it makes it so much, so much easier for me to be that channel that Mother Mary has asked me to be. So God bless you. I love you so much and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. I'm so grateful to be able to spend this time with you. If you want even more inspiration, feel free to visit my website, francisfaden.com or magnifyyourmiracles.com. And if you did enjoy this episode, I would really appreciate it if you left a review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever it is that you connect with awesome podcasts. Remember, the key to magnifying your miracles is remembering that your miracle is already here.